hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video i'm gonna talk about how you can download and install vs code on your system and also i'm going to fix one problem of vs code that you are facing till date so before starting this video let me tell you that this video is going to be very small but it is very knowledgeable and useful for you as well so watch this video till the end let's get started So for downloading VS Code on your systems, you have to just simply go to the Google Chrome on your system, okay, and write here VS Code as I am writing on my search box. So I am written VS Code and search it. So I am going to download VS Code. So I am supposed to click the download button over here, okay. So simply I have clicked download button. So this interface came out okay so i am downloading it for my windows i am currently using windows 10 so i am selecting windows over here okay so after that you just have to click on the download button on the right or otherwise it will automatically start the downloading process as you can see the downloading process is already has been started and you just have to wait a while for this downloading process okay so after downloading this vs code exe you just have to install it so for installing this vs code exe setup you just have to click on this uh, vs code and simply have to run it okay so after running it you can see the dialog box appear and you just have to mark that i accept the agreement option okay and after that you just have to click the next button you just have to create a desktop icon of vs code so i am preferring this to create a desktop icon okay otherwise you have to search it every time uh, for using vs code so as you can see my installation process is completed and vs code icon is appeared in my desktop so simply i'm gonna just click on the vs code icon and i have already written some codes over here to print hello world okay so uh, you can also write any code over here okay and i am going to run it so as you can see something is error okay this uh, code is not working this says that include stdio.h this is not uh, recognized okay so as you can see there is a red mark over stdio.h okay i'm going to just select the path okay for this compiler to recognize my codes so guys don't be tensed i am going to fix it in two minutes so watch the video till the end so you just have to go to the chrome and you just have to download a software called ming gw okay so you just have to download this ming gw okay so as you have downloaded the vs code the same process you have to do for this okay so i have already downloaded this ming gw uh, setup so i'm gonna just install in front of you okay so for installing i'm going to just click on it and just click on run button so you can see the install button is appeared and I am clicking the continue button to install it. It will take a couple of minutes or 5 to 10 minutes okay. So you just have to wait okay. So after installing this you just have to select the package for your compiler okay. So you just have to click Ming GW32 base and Ming GW GCC G++. So guys this is for C++ code okay and the base package is for C code okay. So you just have to check these two packages and after that you just have to go installation and apply changes okay. So uh, as you can see I am clicking the apply button okay. So as same as I am doing you have to just do that okay. So it will also take 5 to 10 minutes so you have to wait over here okay. So after completing this you just have to close this button and go to your desktop okay so after that you just have to go to the windows and windows search over here you have to search environment setup okay so as you can see there is an option called edit the system environment variables okay so you just have to go to this option okay so simply you have to go to the environment variable and after that you just have to select the path over here so you can see this path option over here so you just have to search this path option on your system variables okay 
after you find this path option you have to click this path option you just have to add a new environment variable okay so you simply have to click on the new button so you can see that empty box over here appeared okay so here we have to paste min gw bin folder location okay so for finding min gw bin location you just have to go to your desktop okay after going to desktop you have to go to your c drive and after going to c drive you just have to search for the min gw and you can see the bin folder over here okay so simply click the bin folder and there we go so we have to just copy this link so for copying this location you just have to click over here and you just have to select this link and copy it okay after copying this you just have to go to the environment variable dialog box and just simply have to paste it over here okay on the empty box as you can see i am pasting it okay so after pasting this location you just have to click ok and then ok and add the last ok button okay and there we go you just have to restart your vs code okay as you can see i have restarted my vs code and i have added one more printf statement which is my channel's name you can see engineer who okay i'm going to just click on the run button and there we go so as you can see my code is running without any errors and problems okay so i am adding some more codes over here and i am coding in my workspace very gratefully okay so this is up guys for today i am sure that you have liked this video okay so for more such useful contents and coding video do subscribe our youtube channel so till that see you guys in the next video have a good day